Hi guys, back again with another video. Now this video is going to be a charging test of the MI Powerbank 3i 10,000 mAh. So I have the uh, 3i and the 2i both of them with me. So uh, we will be testing the 3i first. We'll be seeing how does the fast charging work uh, and uh, does it actually support uh, a lot of things like uh, does it charge uh, itself and charge phones at the same time? Uh, does it charge two phones uh, at fast charging? Uh, will it actually support all of that? So we'll be checking all of that and then we'll be comparing it with the uh, 2i. Now the strange thing is the 2i is also for 899 rupees and the 3i is also for 899 rupees. So uh, which one should you go for? Uh, we'll be talking about that in the end of the video. Uh, let's charge the power bank itself and then see how it works. So you have two input ports So you have a micro USB and a type C input port and then these two are the output ports So let's go ahead and get one of the fast chargers So this is the MI's fast charger itself. I broke this but doesn't matter. So I'll put this in the type C port Okay, so it's charging now. Now you will not know whether it's fast charging or not fast charging by any LED indication or anything. It will be normal. Everything will be normal here, but it actually charges faster. So uh, what MI claims is uh, it can charge from 0 to 100 in 4 hours if you use a 18 watts fast charger. So I've actually tested it. It takes around 4.5 hours. So uh, even though they are saying it, saying that it takes four hours, it does take 4.5 hours or so uh, if you are uh, using a power bank which is completely drained. Uh, so uh, the claim is almost there. Uh, but if you use a normal 10 watts fast charger, uh, sorry, 10 watts charger, then it'll just take six hours. So it's not much of a difference. So six hours to 4.5 hours is one and a half hours of difference. So uh, even if you have a regular charger, it's not going to be a big deal. You can just use it that way. Now, what we'll be looking at is while it's doing fast charging, can it uh, give out fast charging too? Because that is not supported in any of the devices. So let's see if that works. Now, let me just show you it works with micro USB also. So now I'll put it here and you see it's charging. So that's how it charges. Now let's go ahead and see whether it will do fast charging while it's charging. So I'll use a MI's fast charging cable itself. Because with this, you do not get a type C charger. Let's put this in into the phone. Okay, now it's saying quick charging. So it is doing fast charging right now. Now let me try connecting the fast charger onto the power bank. Okay, so you see it switched off and came back on. But now due to safety reasons, it will not do fast charging. Now, if this does fast charging and tries to charge the phone also uh, using fast charging, then uh, this is going to overheat and uh, things might explode and all those things will happen. So that's why none of the power banks support uh, charging the power bank and charging the phone at the same time in fast charging. Regular charging will work fine. So now it is in slow charging in your regular 10 watts charging. And this one is also in your regular 10 watts charging. So let's go ahead and see if two devices work at the same time. Now, one more thing, when it's in charging, if you remove it, now ideally what should happen is it should restart and go to fast charging. Now you see it has gone to fast charging. You have the double lightning. Now let's put another fast charging cable and try to charge another phone. Okay, so let's charge this phone. It's the LG G6. Now you see it switched off and then came back on. Now this also supports fast charging. This also supports fast charging. Both the phones support it. But now the fast charging is gone. Now that's because it only has 18 watts of charging in it. So if this is already taking 18 watts, it cannot give fast charging to the other one. And if it has to share between two devices, uh, it will go into regular charging. So that's what you have to keep in mind. Now, let's see whether I can actually fit this in to check that. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, now you can see how much is it actually giving to one device. So it's at 5.19 watts, 1.71 ampere. So that's actually pretty good. It's almost 10 watts. Actually, it is 10 watts. So it's giving 10 watts to this and the rest 8 watts are going there. Let's check that. Okay, so that's the power which is going over there to the LG G6. So it's actually almost 10 watts. No, so both of them are getting somewhere around 10 watts, around 9 watts uh, ish power. So it is actually doing uh, more than your regular charging. It's not at 5 watts. It's somewhere near the 10 watts. So it can support two devices running at 10 watts. So that is a good thing. The problem that I found was this. Now, if I'm charging two phones, uh, so right now I'm charging both of them. They're not going to be on fast charging. You see, okay, stop shaking. You see, it has gone to regular charging. Now, if I remove the other one, you will see that this does not restart and it still remains on slow charging even though the second phone is disconnected. So what you will have to do is you'll have to press the button here once it will switch off and then press it again. It will start. Now when it restarts, it will go back to fast charging. So that's something that you have to remember, even though there's so much of computer control in this. Uh, if you try charging two phones and then remove one phone, it will not automatically go to fast charging on the other phone. You will have to remove all the cables or press the button to reset it so that it starts fast charging again. Now let's compare the 2i. Let's do the same thing with this. Okay, so both of them are charging. 2i is on slow charging. Now I'll remove this cable. It still remains on slow charging. So it's the same problem that the previous one also had. Now I'll press the button, pull it off, press it again. And then you see it's gone to fast charging. So it's the same problem that the previous version also had. Uh, and they have not changed that. I think most of the people don't even know that this problem actually exists. Okay, so which device should you buy? Now it all comes down to uh, the features and the price. Now, uh, obviously the 3i has more features. Uh, basically feature wise, it just has an extra port and it charges 30 minutes faster than your uh, 2i. So if you put a fast charger, 18 watts fast charger onto this, it'll charge in four hours. Uh, and if you put a regular 10 watts fast charger on this, it'll charge in uh, six hours. This one uh, takes 4.5 hours to charge with an 18 watts charger and with a 10 watts charger, it will take six hours. So not much of a difference. But then when we look at the price, both of them are for 899 rupees. So if both of them are the same price, then it makes more sense to buy the 3i. The 2i is outdated. In the end, I would suggest go for the 3i. Uh, what's extra is just the uh, type C input port. If you already have the 2i, there's no use of upgrading. Uh, if the 2i that you own is not good or the battery backup has gone low, then it makes sense in getting the 3i one. So that's it for this video. If you like the video, please subscribe with the like button and do comment and I'll see you again with another video. Bye-bye.